All right, welcome to another week of CA Today. Just me on this one, so I get to talk for about 15 minutes straight here. Going over week three, previewing week four. All right, first up in week three, we've got Villanova taking on Towson. And Towson absolutely laid the boom on Villanova. Uh, the final score was 37-13. to 13. Towson scored 17 in the second quarter alone. Uh, the score at halftime was 17-10. to 10. Uh, Towson just kept up the pressure. They scored 20 in the second half. Uh, made the final score 37 to 13. Villanova drops to 0 and 4 on the season. Towson goes to, sorry, 0 and 3 on the season. Towson goes to 3 and 0. Uh, and so we will see how that game uh, affects the CAA North standings as Towson gets to uh, jump atop the CAA North for now, along with the next team here, Duquesne, who beat Robert Morris in a closely ma- close matchup, 28 to 21. Uh, Robert Morris. Was down two scores late, but scored in the fourth quarter to make it a close game. But in the end, Duquesne was able to hold out for a seven-point victory. Next up, we had our game of the week, the Route 1 rivalry, uh, with Delaware State taking on Delaware. And Delaware State and Delaware were so closely matched this game. Delaware State put 13 on in the first quarter. Delaware answered with 14 of their own in the second, along with 16 in the third. Uh, Delaware State and Delaware ended the first Sorry, ended regulation, tied 44-all. The game goes to overtime, and in overtime, Delaware State was able to win this Route 1 game uh, by a final score of 51-44. to Next up, we've got Youngstown State taking on Morgan State, and Youngstown State led early and didn't look back. Uh, They scored the first points of the game, and it was pretty close. Morgan State played a pretty decent game, uh, but that third quarter, Youngstown State scored 14 points. Morgan State only able to put up three, and so... We'll see how, how Youngstown State also fares in the CAA North uh, as Morgan State falls to 0-1 in conference play. Uh, the fifth game here fifth game here is James Madison taking on VMI, and this one was another close one. Uh, a delay of game penalty by James Madison, uh, unfortunately because I was busy, uh, kept VMI in it, but the game was not close at all. Uh, the final score was pretty close. It was 31-36. to uh, The game hit the deadline in the fourth quarter, um, but... I was able to win. Me and Canner were able to take down VMI, a very good coach, and hard-fought battle throughout just that delay of game, making it look a lot better for VMI than it actually was. And finally, we had William & Mary taking on Richmond, and it looks like there's a new Richmond coach uh, not able to finish his game on time. The final score was 14-7 to in favor of William & Mary. That wraps up the first week of conference play. Uh, no battle for Appomattox this week. Uh, that was... Uh, just a purely divisional week with the South and the North playing each other. Uh, and moving on, we got contender and pretender. Uh, my contender is Davidson. Davidson in week three won a huge matchup in the CFC. Uh, they beat, oh gosh, let me pull it up. I forgot to write it down. Uh, but Davidson is my contender because they jumped to 3-0, and and they were, are a very, very good team. And they were a very good coach last year as well. They ended up in the top 10 uh, for a couple stretches there especially later on in the season, they were in the top 10. My pretender is ASU, or sorry, not ASU, EWU, Eastern Washington. Uh, They lost their first game in 18 weeks, and so they were my pretender. And Gardner-Webb, so Davidson beat Gardner-Webb 19-3, a very convincing win uh, for Davidson. I think they'll continue to climb the CAA rankings, sorry, the FCS rankings. Uh, and so my pretender was Eastern Washington. They lost huge to Portland State. The final score was 71-20. to 20. And so those are my contender and pretender of the week. Move on to week four preview. We've got Youngstown State taking on Robert Morris. And I'm going to back Youngstown State in this one. I think it'll be close. Robert Morris did play well against Duquesne. But I think Youngstown State pulls out the win here. Uh, I'll say somewhere around like 28-20. to 20. Or just like a one or two possession game. Uh, next up, we got Towson taking on Duquesne. I'm going to back Towson here. They're on a hot ride. Uh, I'm back on the Towson train to win this one, go to 4-0, and and hopefully hopefully top 15 in the rankings. Uh, and I think Towson wins pretty soundly here. I'm going to go 42-12, to or not 12, 42-21 is what I meant to say. Uh, next up, we've got VMI taking on Richmond, and I don't know enough about this Richmond coach uh, to give a good prediction in their favor, so I'm going to back VMI here. Uh, let's just say pretty basic score, 35-21, 35-24, something like that. Next up, Morgan State taking on Villanova, and I back Villanova in this one. Uh, Villanova is the most dangerous when they are 0-3, and so I'm going to back Villanova, 
get to one and three and hopefully win the next couple of games uh, to get back onto that national talking national level. Uh, so I hope they win this one. I'll say Villanova wins. Pretty low scoring affair. I'm actually going to say 14 to 10, uh, just because pretty good defenses from both sides. Uh, next up, we've got Delaware taking on James Madison. And I'm going to back myself in this one. I mean, kind of really figured it out against uh, VMI, especially towards the end of the game. Uh, there were some really, really solid possessions. I think the key to this one is just jumping out to an early lead and just maintaining that throughout the game. I'll say a final score, somewhere on th- something like 42 to 35. And then finally, we've got Delaware State taking on William & Mary. And I'm going to back William & Mary in this one, actually. Uh, William & Mary had a great game last week when they played uh, Richmond. Obviously, that game didn't finish, but William & Mary was all over Richmond. And I think Matt's a really, really good defensive coach. And I think his defense uh, compares with Matt's the other Matt's offense, uh, as this is a Matt battle between DSU Matt and William & Mary Matt. And then finally, uh, moving on to the listener topics. Let me scroll down, find some find some questions. Uh, so first question is, who does a podcast during an IRL college football game? Me, because I have homecoming tonight. And so I just kind of had to get this. This is the only time I had. Uh, and actually, I have to go to homecoming right after this. Uh, and then the next question is the only actual question here. Uh, it says, right now, do you think the number of CAA teams in the playoffs will be over or under two? I think it's going to be over. I think I think the two people in the conference championship game will make it. I also think a team from the CAA North that doesn't make the conference championship game will make it as well. Uh, and so I'm thinking, like, whoever wins the CAA North, whoever wins the CAA South, I think Towson and Youngstown State are going to be competing for the CAA North. And so I think they both will end up making the playoffs just out of resumes uh, because the CAA is a very strong conference. And so I'm going to pick three CAA teams, two from the north and one from the south. And that was a very, very fast episode of CAA Today uh, because I didn't have a guest. And so I'm just going to post it on YouTube and hopefully people watch it. All right. Peace out and bye-bye.